Cooking Apa. Hi, this is Cooking Apa. As you can see from here, today I'm going to cook something with my uh, multi cooker here. Uh, why is it multi cooker? Because uh, you can actually use it as a slow cooker as well at the same time. And uh, it is actually by Philips uh, model called HD2145. Um, of course, mainly I'm using it for my pressure cooker. What I'm doing here is I'm going to do my favorite uh, Chu Gyok Cho. Okay, using this without even touching my uh, wok. Okay, because I'm going to use the saute uh, function of this as well. So, first of all, we can choose to uh, the saute. I'm not sure if you can see clearly. There is a saute function here. Then you can actually press start button for 3 seconds. Then it will start. The word, the word here says pressure up, meaning it is actually started to heat up. Alright. Now, you of course, you want to saute so you can't close the lid. So here, I'm going to put in a little bit of oil. And we will... I have prepared some ginger. Crushed ginger, okay, depending on uh, the amount you, you want. I have about approximately 1 kg of uh, pork hind leg with me today. And uh, so I have approximately about uh, here, probably about uh, 150 grams of crushed ginger and also few slices of um, dried uh, chili. Okay, you can see, can you hear the sizzling sound? Okay, it is basically heating up right now. So I can actually put in the ginger and also the dried chili and let's saute it for a while. Let me go and get the wooden spatula. Okay, it is actually slowly heated up. I already can smell the fragrance coming out. It is already starting to heat up. Okay, so normal um, normal pressure cooker, you definitely can't do this. But this is a multi cooker, then uh, that's why you can also uh, do this. So you want to saute it about one to two minutes until the fragrance of the uh, you want to force out the fragrance from the ginger together with the uh, chili, yeah, the dried chili. So we will. Uh, I I won't be showing you the whole process here. We will come back shortly. I hope you can hear the sizzling sound right now. All right. Now, um, uh, actually, I have added something special inside here. Uh, within, uh, amongst the old ginger, there's actually one piece of young ginger here. I was hoping this young ginger will give it a little bit uh, different aroma. Okay. So it's totally optional. Okay. Now. We can definitely uh, smell all the nice aroma and now we can actually add in our blanch uh, pork leg. If you don't know how to blanch a pork leg, uh, you can always search for my video, okay? my other video on blanch, how to blanch uh, meat. Yeah? Blanching is extremely important, especially when you are using any meat that comes with bone. Yeah, you need to remove all the uh, unnecessary and excess uh, oil. Oh, sorry, excess blood. Okay, give it a few stir. This is almost like a normal wok. <laughs> this pressure cooker is very nice. Okay, so. Okay. I'm going to add in uh, one whole bottle of the sweetened black vinegar. Okay, sweetened black vinegar, about 500 ml. Oh, it will take a while. Uh, we will come back shortly. Okay, I just pouring in uh, one whole bottle of uh, dark, sweet dark, uh, sweet dark uh, vinegar. Sweetened dark vinegar. And then I'm going to mix with another same portion of water which is also 500 ml of water so the ratio between the two is one to one all right okay, let me adjust it 
so that everything is nicely submerged under the broth. Okay, before we continue, we need to add in about approximately two tablespoons of raw sugar. Alright, so take note, I did not add in any normal vinegar at all. I only used the sweetened dark vinegar. Okay, so only dark, sweetened dark vinegar, one ratio, and water, one ratio. It's that simple, right? Then we can actually cover this, cover the lid, lock it up. If you don't lock, it will not start, okay? Lock it up, and now we can choose the setting we want, we go to beef or lamb. Okay, it is suggested at about 30 minutes at 60 kilopascal pressure. Now, this particular, uh, let me choose this first. All right, let me start first. Then only I explain. Press the start button for three seconds, then it will start. Now, um, the the beauty or the beauty of this particular pressure cooker is. For you normal pressure cooker, you never know what's happening inside the moment you close it. But this one, because it actually tells you what is the pressure inside. And you, it even let you to choose what kind of pressure you want. So this is the part where I really, I really like it. And you can see from here, now it's still zero. It is slowly pressuring up. And uh, after five to 10 minutes later, it will, it will reach us the, the type of pressure exactly we wanted. Okay, so we just, uh, leave it leave it there and let it cook uh, by by its own. Uh, we will come back shortly about after about 40 minutes then everything is done. Yeah, it is that simple. Okay. Okay, the the cooking time has finished. So right after the cooking time finished, it will actually uh, unlike other um, uh, unlike my old um, pressure cooker where I need to manually release the pressure. This, this cooker here will release by its own, like what you're seeing here. And uh, the smarter part of it is it will actually release the pressure batches by batches so that it is not dangerous. Okay, if not, sometime uh, suddenly all the uh, uh, hot vapor come out, that can be very dangerous. And you are seeing here, as you, you, can, you can see the pressure inside the cooker is actually keep on reducing. Like, like what I said just now, um, using this cooker, this pressure cooker, you will know exactly what's happening inside your pressure cooker, which is fantastic. Okay, and um, the only down part is it will take a little, uh, probably a five to ten minutes to fully release the 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 uh, pressure itself. Uh, a little bit long, if you ask me, but um, somehow I feel um, the 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 result. I have tested few rounds now. The result that came out from this is more consistent than my old uh, pressure cooker. Okay, so when this reaches zero, then we can actually we can actually open it. Okay, when you hear the beep beep sound, it says here keep warm, meaning uh, it is done. Um, now we can actually uh, open it. Okay, this is unlocked. slowly open this wow very very fragrant now for this particular dish you really you don't have to uh, add salt or light soya sauce because uh, later I'll be eating it with light soya sauce with and together with chili padi okay so I'm going to uh, scoop it up for you to see and yeah okay so one thing I noticed by using this particular pressure cooker is I can actually make the meat and um, the texture of the meat become soft, as you can see from here, but spongy. It is soft, but it is not melted. You know, some pressure cooker, when you cook once, it is not soft enough, but you cook it twice, it become melted. This one, no. <coughs> it will actually become <coughs> softened, yeah, spongy like this, but it doesn't melt, it stays in shape. So this is exactly the perfect texture I actually wanted. Okay, so if you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Apa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Apa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.